Alright, hey guys. So, I'm going to do my second makeup tutorial. <clears throat> and it's a very, very bright, outgoing look. So, if you don't like bright, outgoing looks, it's definitely not for you. But if you do, keep watching. So, I've already done my eyebrows. And I've put my base on and my foundation. <clears throat> so, we're going to get started. And the first color is yellow. And this is chrome yellow, I believe, from MAC. First thing we're going to do. I'm just going to put it in the, from the inner corner all the way over to like <clears throat> three-fourths of your eyelid. And the music in the background is Papa Roach's older CD, Infest. So I hope you have nothing against them. But this look is going to be... <clears throat> yellow, blue, green, and black with a very frosty highlight. Because I like very outgoing looks. Because that's just kind of how I am. So as you see, I've, I've gone almost all the way out here. And because the blue, I'm going to fade into the yellow and it's going to turn it green. So you actually only have to use two colors. Well, three colors, including the black. So again, just <clears throat> make it even on both sides. Definitely don't want to be lopsided makeup. And from the yellow, where is my towel? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> from the yellow, we're doing blue, electric eel, bright blue. And we're going to just put it out on the outer corners first, and then we're going to blend it inwards. So that you can make the shape of your eyeshadow first. From this point, you have this big blue blob right here. What you're going to do is you're going to get blue eyeshadow on your brush, and you're going to swoop it this way. I know you're probably all like, why don't you just use green? But I don't have green that is this certain color, so I just kind of make up my own. And don't worry, we'll fix the inner corner and make it more yellow again. You can always go back and fix things. That's what makes it beautiful. Alright, so you now have this fading color. Now we're going to do the other side. And yes, I use a lot of eyeshadow because I just kind of pack it on there. Because I like very, very bright things. Once again, we're going to blend it over.
They may not always turn out as green as this one does, so you can just keep packing on the blue and it'll just keep making it darker. And we're also, we're gonna have black in this, in this like area right here. So even if you mess up right there, it's okay because it's gonna get covered up. All right. So now <clears throat> what we're going to do is do the bottom lash line. It's gonna be the exact same as the top. So you get your yellow and your little lash line brush. Start in the inner corner. Just go over so you can have your green in the middle. Apologize if the light is going away because it's like five something. I don't know exactly. No, I'm just kidding. It's like six o'clock. Obviously, I'm a time retard. That's okay. Now with our blue. Bring it over and it'll start turning green. Same thing on the other side. mess with my inner corners for a second and get a little bit of the green out of there. That works. Alright. From here we're going to take, I'm using carbon from MAC. It's a very black deep color. You can use whatever black color you would like. It doesn't all have to be from MAC. You could have all these colors in different brands and it doesn't matter. And we're just going to put it in like the lower lash, like the lower lash Crap. Lower eyelid. There we go. That's about as much as you need to bring it. And do it on both sides. I'm told this reminds people of like a bird. Can't remember the name of the bird right now. But every time I wear this, that's what I'm told. <laughs> Alright. So now we have that color. And now we're doing our highlight. Which is very, very frosty. It's frost from MAC. It's a pigment. And if you have this, you know that it's kind of a pain. And it gets everywhere. But it's a pretty color. So, I'm just going to use this as my highlight. And it's actually being very nice today. Normally it doesn't want to stay on my face. And from this, I'm going to blend it. And you can get more pigment on there and start blending downward, well upwards technically because you're blending the bright colors up into the frosty pigment so you don't have such a bad harsh line. And I'm telling you, it gets everywhere. As you can see. See, now you can see the difference. This one is more blended upwards where this one's very, very bold and straight lined which is not what we're going for. 